Hello, I'm Ellen and I'm doing a Gruffalo's Child video and I'm reading the story. I hope you like it. The Gruffalo said that no Gruffalo should ever set foot in the deep dark wood. Why not? Why not? Because if you do, the big bad mouse will be after you. I met him once, said the Gruffalo. I met him a long, long time ago. What does he look like? Tell us, Dad. Is he terribly big and terribly bad? I can't quite remember, said the Gruffalo. The Gruffalo said. Then he thought for a minute and scratched his head. The big bad mouse is, ter is terribly strong and his scaly tail is terribly long. His eyes are like paws of terrible fire, and his terrible whiskers are tougher than wire. One snowy night, but when the Gruffalo snored, the Gruffalo snored. The Gruffalo's child was feeling bored, so the Gruffalo's child was feeling brave, so she tiptoed out of the Gruffalo cave. The no fell fast in the wind blew wild. Into the wood went the Gruffalo's child. Aha! A hoe! A track in the, a trail in the snow. Whose is this trail? And where does it go? A tail poked out of a log pile house. Could this be the tail of the big bad mouse? Out slid the creature. His eyes were small. And he didn't have whiskers. No, none at all. You're not the mouse. Not I, said the snake. It's down by the lake eating Gruffalo cake. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the Gruffalo's child. Aha, a hoe. Marks in the snow. Whose are these claw marks? Where, where do they go? Two eyes gleamed out of a treetop house. Could these be the eyes of the big bad mouse? Out, down through the creature. His tail was short and he didn't have whiskers of any sort. You're not the mouse. Twit to woo, not I. But he's somewhere nearby, eating Gruffalo pie. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the Gruffalo's child. A hat, a hoe, a, tra a trail, a track in the snow. Whose is this track and where does it go? Whiskers at last and an underground house. Could these be the whiskers of the big bad mouse? Out snapped the Chris creature. His eyes weren't fiery and his tail wasn't scaly. He, his whiskers weren't wiry. You're not the mouse. Oh, not to me. He's under a tree drinking Gruffalo tea. It's all a trick said the gruff Lowe's child as he sat on a as she sat on a stump where the snow lay pale piled piled I don't believe in the big bad mouse it's just a trick isn't it but here comes a little one out of his house. Not big, not bad, but a mouse at last. You'll taste good as a midnight feast. Wait, said the mouse. Before you eat, there's a f friend you might that. There's a friend of mine that. That you would. Ought. Ought to meet. 
If you let me hop into a hazel twig, I'll beckon my friend. So big and bad. So bad and big. So bad and big. The Gruffalo's child and clutched her fist. The big bad mouse, so he does exist. The mouse hopped into the hazel tree. He beckoned to his friend, just wait and see. Out came the moon, it was bright and round. A terrible shadow fell on into the ground. His Oh, it's... Who is... Who's this creature? So big and bad and strong. He's, his tail and whiskers are terribly long. His ears are enormous. And over his shoulder, he carries a nut as big as a boulder. Mm. The big bad mouse yelled the Gruffalo's child. The mouse jumped down from the twig and smiled. Aha, a ho, prince in the snow. Whose are these footprints? Where do they go? The footprints led to the Gruffalo cave, where the Gruffalo's child was feeling a bit was feeling was a bit less brave. The Gruffalo's child was a bit less bored. And the Gruffalo snored and snored and snored. The end. Should I read the blood, Mum?